we got this beautiful model back, and it's the Charlotte W. White. We got this wonderful painting of um, the sardine plant. This is the 1864 flag quilt. Belfast is turning 250 this year. In recognition of the landmark occasion, some are looking back on the legacy of the city, which includes being home to the oldest shoe store in the country. Over 190 years of business established in 1832. Uh, our first location was up around the corner, and then in 1905, we started doing business here. We've had to adapt to all the changes in Belfast. The community really supports our downtown, and that's why it's so vibrant. Megan Panette, curator of the Belfast Historical Society and Museum, says that this year's celebration is a time to remember how far the city has come since its incorporation as a town in 1773. Belfast moved from the age of sail to the age of steam to having a railroad, and after World War II, we did become the broiler capital of New England. We had two poultry processing plants here in town, which employed, you know, hundreds of people. Panette says that the shutdown of the plants more than 30 years ago was initially devastating to the community. But as one door closes, another opens. The city has gone through several stages in its lifetime, and now some members of the community say it's a tourist destination year-round. Belfast is a totally different community at this at this time. Now we're a real arts community. We've got a, a very active library. We've got very active social and music scenes. And, um, you know, it's we have transformed from those days. The Belfast Historical Society and Museum will be celebrating the anniversary of the city on the 21st of next month with an event at City Hall. You can come to Belfast and the entire downtown is open 365 days a year. It, it's not a seasonal place. This is a full-time downtown. In Belfast, David Ledford, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.